Okay, so this is going to be example four and five in our complex numbers topic. We looked at adding and subtracting complex numbers. And now we're going to have a quick look at multiplying and dividing them. Uh, if you have a look over here, then we're talking about multiplying two complex numbers. It looks like just multiplying out a couple of uh, binomial expressions, and that's exactly what it is. Multiplying out a pair of brackets. And if we did that, it's just with the variables we've got here, that would give me a multiplied by c plus a d times i plus b c times i. And the last term here is interesting because it becomes b d multiplied by i squared. And we've already defined i squared as being negative 1. So we can say these terms, you could keep the same. Um, that becomes minus BD. BD multiplied by negative 1 becomes negative BD, which happens to be a real number. So the real part of the answer would be AC minus BD. And we would have uh, an imaginary part, AD plus BCI. In other words, we end up with two numbers being real, two numbers being imaginary, and we can use that to form our answer. So it's an interesting, we would expect somewhere to find an i squared term, which is going to give us a real value. So let's check it out with example 4. If I multiply that out, 4 times 5 is 20, minus 8i plus 15i, and then minus 6i squared. I can bring those two i terms in the middle, negative 8i plus 15i is plus 7i, and negative 6i squared becomes negative 6 times negative 1, which is plus 6, which gives me the answer 26 plus 7i. That's my answer. So it's, it works out quite well, um, and we, you can practice that uh, on its own. I have a quick look at division. Division is an interesting um, calculation to try and do because we can't actually divide in the form that we've got it here. And I'm going to just do a wee quick uh, dive back to something that you might already be familiar when it comes to simplifying thirds with rash to make them a rational denominator. You might have come across the idea of a, a, com a conjugate third, which would be the same numbers but with the opposite sign. And that's the Effectively, we've got the two parts of a difference of two squares. But the same thing is going to happen here. We have what we call a complex conjugate, and you're going to multiply this fraction here by the conjugate of 3 minus 4i, which is 3 plus 4i. And that gives us two calculations to do. One of them on the top is just like we did in example four. And the other one is going to be slightly different because, as you see, we've got the difference of two squares. We can slightly easier predict what that's going to work out to be. So the top uh, number here becomes 21 uh, plus 28i plus 3i plus 4i squared. And on the bottom, we know that the difference of two squares is going to be the first term squared, which is 9, minus the second term squared, which is 16i squared. And my numerator, I've got plus 4i squared. So that's going to give me 21 plus 31i minus 4 divided by 9 plus 16. So in both these cases, I'm substituting i squared for negative 1. And then what we've got here on the top, we've got 17 plus 31i divided by 25, which gives us the answer 17 over 25 plus 31 over 25i. It's not the most attractive complex number, but it happens to be the answer. So it's a wee bit more involved than multiplying, and that's how you would divide a pair of complex numbers. Okay, so we'll have a look at now what we can do with the arithmetic 
of the complex numbers in subsequent exercises.